Today honoring a woman who helped change the course of civil rights history in Chicago and across the country. WGN's Judy Wang reports on the first annual Ida B. Wells Festival. At the Ida B. Wells National Monument, Chicagoans remember the woman who was ahead of her time. She's one of my sheroes, you know, an icon that uh, really motivates me to do the work that I do. Yeah, as an artist, I'm a muralist, and I like my work to um, kind of address social needs in the community. An organization called the Ida B. Action Committee hosted the first Ida B. Wells Festival at 37th and South Langley in Bronzeville. It was a celebration of what would have been Wells' 160th birthday. Michelle Duster is making it her mission to tell the world all about her great-grandmother. She was a journalist, um, she was a suffragist, she was a civil rights activist, and everything she did was um, focused on um, expanding, you know, civil rights um, and equality for injustice for all. Ida B. Wells was born into slavery in Mississippi during the Civil War. She documented the lynching of black men during the 1890s, which made her the target of threats. After moving to Chicago, Wells protested the exclusion of blacks in the World's mm -hmm. Fair. She fought segregation, organized women, helped elect the city's first black alderman, paving the way for generations of activists. This celebration also included a tour of sites that tell the story of Wells's lasting impact. People who are um, interested in Chicago history and African American history, women's history, American history, um, you know, there's so many different ways that people can connect to her. In Bronzeville, Judy Wang, WGN News.